Hey guys, so I'm here today talking about Target, my one of my true loves. So you guys know, if you don't, I work at Target and I do a lot of Target content on my TikTok, so definitely go follow over there. But I wanted to make a long form YouTube video again for this year, 2022, of the best Target hacks by an employee. I have so many hacks here and I'm super excited to share them with you. If you know some of these already, that's amazing for you. If you don't, I hope that you guys start doing these to save you some money to just know Target more and to just, you know, love Target as much as I do as well. Some of you guys might know these hacks, but maybe you don't know some of these. Who knows? I have so many to share with you, so let's get on into it. Okay, so literally, like, my biggest hack, I feel like, is the Target app. I know this sounds dumb, but, like, the app is literally the best thing ever because, one, it shows you the deals, it shows you the ad for the next week or the week that it is currently and I feel like it's just so good because they give you extra bonus deals on there that you don't see in the ad that you wouldn't even know if you didn't have the app. So my biggest thing is go through the app before you go on your shopping trip and see if there's anything on there and then add it with the plus sign so it's in your wallet so when you scan the wallet at the end it takes all of those coupons and discounts off. And if you don't do that I would recommend as you're shopping through the store use the little button that's like has the barcode and uses your camera to scan each of the barcodes because there's a lot of deals on there that you don't really know and then once you scan them they pop up so that's amazing and if there is a deal on it it automatically once you scan it adds it to your wallet which is amazing like i said there's also little extra deals that they have so you can kind of show you on here during your birthday month they also give you five percent off on a purchase as well extra this includes using your like red card and all of those extra discounts so that's super nice and you only see it in the app so these are the kind of the deals right now. It changes all the time. So definitely look at the extra deals in the wallet section, but then also like the cartwheel deals as well in the normal section. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. So I'm pausing this video to say all of this because it's very important. So this shows you in wallet all the information that you've saved so all your saved offers your target circle earnings team member discount if you have one gift cards and then your red card to see if it's on and off so what's really important about this page is so if you have a red card you save the five percent every single purchase but if you don't and pay with either cash or literally any other credit card debit card you can get one percent cash back and that is what's in target earnings and it's basically cash back that you can toggle on and see how much you have for cash back and use that technically like a gift card so i think that's super good and cool that they incorporated that if you don't want to get a red card so once you toggle those on and then scan that barcode where it says show barcode then it will take off all that money all those coupons you saved and all of that and then use that red card if you have one or you just pay normally after you scan that also my biggest hack that i do that i just do it because i love saving money and i shop at target all the time anyway is so save the items that you really want but i always put my favorite things that i want in the favorite section i can kind of show you them here i have some things that i want as well as like things i want to give to my boyfriend things like that so i keep them in here because every week when they start their new deals our deals go from sunday through saturday i Check the app to see, oh, is any of the things in my favorites on sale? It's so much easier checking through that than seeing, oh, let me check each deal of like the section or category to see if there's a discount. So that's the easiest for me. And I've snagged a lot of good deals with doing that. Last year, I got my Apple Pencil on a really good deal because I had it saved and I could easily check it versus checking the ad or checking the item individually and typing it in because I feel like that takes a lot of work. So keeping it in your favorites like this, you can easily see what's gonna go on sale when it does go on sale and snag it up right away. So I love that tip. I've been using that the past year, just got onto it basically. So I love that tip. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that. So I love showing that one the most. Like I said, you can check the ad. You can check the ad for that current week as well as I think by Thursday, potentially Wednesday, you can check the newer ad and get like a sneak peek. So that's super nice. So you can definitely see, oh, is next week what I want gonna be on sale or things like that. It's also nice because if you need to reference something that is cheaper on the ad, you can easily do that with your phone versus bringing the full paper ad in with you. So yeah, like I also mentioned, sales go from Sundays to Saturdays. I don't think the time zones matter. Obviously, whatever you have in your app, that's when the sale will end. Or if you do go in store when the store closes, that is when it ends. We always, every Sunday, we have people putting up new signs for the new week's sales. So definitely know that. So if there's something you're looking at, you can definitely check when it will be ending for that sale and you usually have until Saturday. If not, 
This is another quick hack. You can see on the bottom of each sale thing or deal in the store, that little square on the bottom, it says a date. That is when that is going to end. Sometimes they last longer than a week, which is super nice, but I would say eight or nine times out of 10, it is just for a week. So definitely look at the date below if you're in store to check how long it will last. Also, another big tip is also with the app, scan the items that you have, especially like books I've noticed, some electronics, some beauty things not as much, or just like some random stuff is cheaper online. So definitely with all your items, when you are checking, make sure it says the same price because if it is lower, we can 100% price match it and you get it for the better deal. Sometimes I've, like I said, noticed it the most with books is they get them like half off almost anytime and I'm like holy crap I don't know why it's so expensive online so especially with books and then obviously with random other items so a few times I've seen on the app it is cheaper than in store so definitely use that for your advantage like I said it's not all the time but when you do catch them it does save you some money so that's a really good tip to be able to use the app as much as possible so you can save money and get your deals my next one is we price match all the stores I'm pretty sure like it's not just during the holidays I've heard some people say it's just during the holidays but I've always price matched no matter what time it is so we don't price match though with like membership platforms so such as sam's costco amazon prime but really anything else it's fair game so definitely take your screenshots make sure it is the same item make sure it's like the same exact like item like i said because there's some where it's like oh the airpod pros with case or just the airpods things like that so it can be a little bit different so make sure every single item that you are price matching will be the same one and it's not like on Amazon Prime and things like that because we can't really do that so definitely use that for your advantage so if you want to buy it at Target if you have like the 5% red card thing or if you're an employee and also have the 10% then definitely use that to your advantage because you can price match it and then also get it cheaper with those types of deals as well. My next one is clearance sections. You guys can't sleep on clearance sections. We always have usually an end cap in every section of clearance. And that doesn't even mean like stuff that's going bad or things that nobody wants, which sometimes it is things that nobody wants. But sometimes it's honestly just repackaged stuff, which means that either someone bought it online, we don't sell it in store, or someone like ruined the outside packaging but the inside is still fine so that's super nice you can snag some normal items for a clearance price also i've seen just like really good things go on clearance if we're starting to get out of a brand or just the brand is changing their packaging we put them on clearance which is super nice because it's literally the same thing just a different packaging i found a yeti mic for like $35 and they're like a hundred plus dollars so I snagged one of those because we currently did sell it in stores at that time we do now but I got it for the cheaper price because it's said online only so that was super nice I also have seen an apple pencil on the side of the clearance items as well obviously a lot of makeup because we go through different types of makeup all the time with brands changing colors discontinuing things like that so definitely don't sleep on the clearance sections because you can find some good deals there's like medicine sometimes on there that we just don't sell anymore things like that so that's amazing we never sell stuff that is expired if it is expired definitely bring it up to someone and don't buy it but it's just super nice also we have been doing clearances in the aisle as well so definitely like mosey around each aisle too because you'll more than likely also see clearance like yellow tags like this that say this item's on clearance but we are keeping it on the main aisles because we don't usually have room or we do like to clearance them at least so it stays in the main aisle for a couple weeks and then after a while we do bring them to the ends of the end caps if there is any left so that's kind of the best way to see what is the most recent clearance item is usually is what is in the aisles but in the aisles and in the end caps are the best ways to find clearance and they are in both sections we have recently i feel like in the past year we have been putting them in the aisles we used to only have them on the end caps so definitely know that also with clearance items too they do go down again and we mark them down again if they don't sell however there is a caveat sometimes we do defect them even if they haven't gone to that 75 percent or 90 percent clearance so definitely know that um it just depends but the main clearances we do are like usually 25 percent off I've noticed um, 40, 50, 75 sometimes, but I also have noticed 90% a lot, but usually nothing really in between that. Sometimes 5%, which isn't really that much, but most of the time it is a decent amount. And anytime you see something on clearance, definitely like go check it out. And if it's something you want, it's even better. And sometimes, like I said, you can really find those rare finds and it's just chef's kiss. It's the best high, I feel like 
because it just it feels so nice that you're like, oh, I wanted this anyways, and I get it for so much cheaper. Okay, my next thing is really big, and I feel like I know this just because I work in beauty, is I honestly feel like every other month or every month and a half we do this deal it's either the spend 20 get a five dollar gift card or spend 40 get a ten dollar gift card and most of the times it's all of the personal care and beauty stuff which is super nice so you can do all the beauty and then do personal care like shave toothpaste body wash things like that so that's always when I stock up because obviously if you're going to spend that money might as well get a gift card with it so that's always nice and they do do that pretty frequently we did just get done with one that was the spend 40 get the $10 gift card so that's like I said perfect time to stock up it also counts on q-tips and cotton rounds so I always stock up on those if I need to make it up to that 40 I always grab an extra pack of cotton rounds and stuff that I like to buy so I have a good stock of them and I can still make it up to that purchase limit to get that gift card a quick tip with that as well is split those payments into two so if you're spending 80 bucks I would split those into two at the self-checkout, do it yourself, and just pay for it different times. So you get two $10 gift cards versus if you only did $80, you'd still just get that $10 gift card. So like I said, splitting them up helps you a lot because you get the extra gift card. And if you do have to go to a checkout person, that's fine too. Just say like, oh, I want to put these in two separate payments. Usually you don't ask why. So then you still get those two $10 gift cards. But personally for me, I have social anxiety sometimes. So I'm like, let me just do it at the self-checkout because it's the easiest and no shame. So love doing that. And that is my biggest tip with those is split those payments up and know that they do do those pretty frequently. So definitely if you do need backups or need to stock up, I would highly recommend to wait for those times that we do those deals. My next one is if you shop at Target and have the red card, you get 5% off at Starbucks at the Target Starbucks and that's amazing to me. Also, if you do work there, you also get your 10% discount. So that's also great. And sometimes they do like little promotional things where it's like 20% off Starbucks or 20% off like their brewed coffee or Frappuccinos, things like that. So definitely, like I said, the app has so many deals on there randomly. So it always helps. So you can literally stock on that 20% off your 10% discount if you work there, and also the 5%. So I think that's super cool, and saving money on Starbucks is always the best thing ever because who doesn't love Starbucks? So definitely know that you can use your Target red card over there on the app, and that saves you a lot of money. My next one, definitely ask an employee if there isn't something on the shelf or if we even have an item. Most of the time, we do like helping you. Obviously, if you come up really rudely, then it's not as fun to help you, but sometimes you do have it in the back so we can just grab it for you so you don't have to stop at another store or not get the item at all. So that is definitely something. And then we can also check on our device if we are getting some soon or if other stores have them. So definitely feel free to ask an employee. Definitely come up to them nicely. My biggest tip if you want to make that employee super happy is pull it up on your app already. Go to details and scroll down to the DPCI. I can show you this on the screen because that saves so much time and effort and we love when we do that because it just makes everything quicker and more efficient. So definitely if you want to really help someone out, definitely do that method. And then my next one is samples. So a lot of times in the drive up and pickups, you can have samples in your bags. However, it's not every time. Sometimes we ran out. Sometimes we don't honestly have time to put them in. So it is kind of random, but a lot of times I have showed on my TikTok of different samples. So definitely go check out my TikTok like I mentioned and you can kind of see what's coming up. If you're really nice, potentially if you ask someone up front when you do have a drive up order, if they have any samples and they can put them in, sometimes it's hard and you don't want to seem like that Karen person. But if they seem really nice, I definitely would ask. Have I seen anyone do that? I don't know. I don't really work up front. But if someone asked me and I worked up front, I would gladly put them in because I don't really care. And I like when people get samples because I love samples. So if they want to ask and know that they'll use those samples and enjoy those samples, I don't mind if they ask personally. So that's a tip you can do with that. Also, Beauty has samples and we can finally hand them out again. Each store is a little bit different. I've heard online in my comment section that some stores don't get samples, so I'm not really for sure. I know right before COVID, we used to have beauty events every single weekend during the midday of the weekend and we would stand our, our carts, our beauty carts, and hand out samples. So we do get a box every month of samples, so we definitely have a lot of samples on hand and we do like handing them out and we used to, like I said, on those beauty events, so I assume with things opening up more, we're gonna have the sample events again sometime, I'm not for sure when, but currently 
we got the okay that we can finally hand them out again, which is nice. I know in the past, some stores have been able to hand them out if they're in like another clear bag. Most of the time we didn't have time to put them all in bags and hand them out. So we kind of just hoarded them and gave them to employees, but now we can give them to guests, which is super nice. And I usually keep mine in my cart. So like when people pass by, I can just hand them out and I try to get rid of all of them before we get our new box. Cause we get them, I feel like in the beginning of the month. So definitely if you want some samples definitely look around beauty sometimes i've noticed that they keep them on the beauty cart by themselves so you can snag some then or if you're really nice and you want to ask you can ask a beauty person be like hey do you have like any samples anything like that i definitely don't think anyone would get annoyed i mean i wouldn't because i love samples and i usually give them a good amount of samples since not many people ask and i do ask sometimes and some people say no and look at me you're super weird but i'm like i'm just trying to give you free stuff so yeah so hopefully now we can carry them more around with us that we can hand them to you but if no one is there or no one's asking if you want samples and you really want some samples definitely go up to a beauty person and do that no one else really in the store really knows about samples i don't think slash knows where they would be so highly recommend asking a beauty person because otherwise they probably don't know and wouldn't give it to you like i said don't be that karen either if we don't have any we don't have any if the worker, I guess, doesn't want to give you any. Don't be that care. I'm like, oh, I know you have them, blah, blah, blah. So if you're feeling spicy, go up to a beauty member and ask. If not, like I said, we should be having them on the weekends. Sometime in the future, I haven't heard any day of when. So I would say probably not even until like after summer, if not later or next year. So definitely know that there is samples and definitely like i said check out my tiktoks because i do post kind of when we get samples so then you kind of know the general of what we have that month sometimes i don't have time to post it sometimes we don't get them and i don't know if all targets get them like i said so it's kind of up in the air so take that as you will so i hope you guys like watching all of my target tips and hacks that i have for you guys for 2022 i want to be making these every year because every year i get some new ones everything like that so like i mentioned follow me on tiktok to see more target content for me that's where i post all my main stuff youtube is kind of where i post my tips of growing on social media and kind of just re uploading from tiktok so if you want to see the real deals go follow me on tiktok i post extra content on there as well like stories that they have now and everything like that sometimes i do post extra videos too on tiktok that i don't cross promote so if you want the og go follow me on tiktok i'd love to see you guys over there i hope you guys like watching this and i love how we can share our love for target together and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys